Welcome to the Roost, which is where I'm going to be staying this week. It is an amazing place and I wanted to share it with you all uh, from the point of view of what it can offer. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so first of all, we've got the entrance to the actual uh, complex. Uh, we've got uh, metal electric gates, which keep it the, uh, the actual site safe. Um, so it's really good uh, enclosed compound. Um, you get a code to actually enter the site, of which I'll show you now. I'm not going to show you the code. You'll obviously get that uh, when you contact um, uh, Kath and Chris, who are amazing, by the way. So this is the entrance to the actual complex itself. And as you can see, we've got some rather nice parking, ample parking for the uh, cabin uh, area. And then just round to the left here, a fantastic little bike wash area. So if you've come back from the bike park, absolutely blathered in mud, no worries. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the cabins. So we've actually got two spaces here for camper van with electric hookup. We've then got obviously all the uh, sanitizing areas uh, because of uh, COVID, etc. Um, we've got CCTV up, up at the top there to make it even more secure. Um, and then we've got a drawing room, which being in Wales is going to be rather useful. And the outside shower rooms and kitchen number one. So the kitchen and the shower rooms are actually in use for the other cabins that don't have ensuite and complete kitchen inside as well. So this particular one is our fossa, which is the uh, ensuite uh, complete with kitchen. And then we've got all the other cabins. of which all have bike storage areas and areas to hook up your muddy and wet and uh, all your climbing gear and everything you've been out with up in the mountains. And then down below we've got the uh, little seated area with uh, barbecue. There's little barbecues dotted everywhere. And then we've also got a nice little picnic area, another kitchen and another shower room. Two shower rooms, so three shower rooms in total. And then the outside kitchen, wash area, another barbecue. So all in all, this site is really well equipped. It's all very new. It's all very clean. It's all very tidy. The attention to detail is fantastic. Uh, and I'm going to show you in Arafossa, which is the one I'm staying in uh, this week. So let's kind of have a look. So presented with a nice little uh, key lock of which where your key will be stashed on arrival. So we've got a really nice little entrance area, a uh, little uh, uh, place to actually put your shoes and hang up your coats and helmets and etc. And then we'll have a look at all the uh, utensils and everything in the kitchenette. So it's a fantastic uh, size little kitchenette. Perfect uh, for all the needs that you've got uh, for food requirements. So we've got a nice little uh, microwave oven and kettle, cafetiere, everything you can ever want for cooking your meals. And obviously we've got the actual sink uh, as well. Really nice little uh, compact stove uh, unit as well, which is really good. Nice little touch. And then just down, down below, we've got the recycling, which again is a really good little touch. And we've got the fridge. Um, and then we've got the beds themselves. Apologies for the mess, but uh, two double bunk beds. So they're about four foot, I believe, wide. Plenty of room to actually get uh, two people. 
and nice little heater which is an incredible heater it doesn't take long to heat up in here uh, last night it was about minus one so we were toasty as anything in here foldable table and chairs and wonderful views and then the bathroom let's kind of have a look so the bathroom nice and compact everything you'll need as, as well obviously we've got obviously a nice little toilet which i believe is uh, fed by uh, rainwater and a little sink unit the actual lights uh, in the bathroom are automatic uh, with the sensor so you don't need to switch it on and off and a wonderfully warm shower even got a nice heated towel rail as well which is a uh, great touch okay so let's go and have a little look at the bike storage area which again is a fantastic little addition to these cabins this particular cabin behind me is our fossa which is yet to have the actual cabin um, fitted with the, uh, the the bike storage unit it doesn't have one at the moment purely because it's actually got the uh, uh, ensuite shower room uh, etc so and kitchenette obviously as well so but the other ones behind me uh, they've all got the actual bike storage unit built into them let's go and have a look okay so here we are the bike storage unit itself so i mean flipping out what an amazing advantage to uh coming on holiday with your bike you can actually store it in the cabin with you it's secure it's safe you don't have to worry about it because i don't know about you but i'll worry about my pride and joy uh, all the time <laughs> ridiculous i know and again so we've got uh we've got a nice little uh, unit there for putting muddy boots etc there's a little pull out uh, for uh, a dryer which is a really good uh, really great little touch and then we've got the actual hooks here for the bikes um, of which you can get two bikes hooked in here um, Two little hanging units as well, some hooks for uh, bags, etc. And uh, there we have it. Hi, Bryony. Hello. Right, so what are your thoughts of the cabin that we're staying in at, uh, at the Roost? I think it's awesome. It's really, really cool. It's, it's, I think the simplicity of it is just right rather than being all flamboyant and oh, fancy, fancy. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a really nice little place to okay. stay. Oh, good, excellent. So you'd definitely come back again, would you? 100%. Right, show me what you like about the place. Definitely my little bed area. Uh -huh. I don't know why, but I just like the section at the top bit. Okay. Yes. And is it nice and comfortable? Very comfortable. Cool. And from the point of view of last night when it was quite chilly, how, were you warm enough? Oh, I was definitely warm enough. Um, but I think I was a little bit too warm. To oh, be wow. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, so, if anything, I think the best thing for that little area is if there was a, like, a little window out there, at the top there, just so you could like, let more air in. But other than that, I think it's awesome. It's Fantastic. And the shower, how was the shower then this morning? Was that nice and warm? Yeah, nice and warm. Uh, not, not boiling hot, thankfully. Um, it was, yeah, it was a nice shower. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. I think it's time we go and do what we came here to do. Let's go ride. There's a short 15 to 20 minute ride up to Bike Park Wales directly from the roost. There are two directions you can take. One is up the Ash Road and the other is up the Taft Trail. Unfortunately, Bike Park Wales wasn't open at the time of our visit, so we'll just have to have another holiday. Luckily, because Bike Park Wales is so close to the cabins, we can pop back for lunch and then head off to Kumkan in the afternoon. Okay, here in Kumkan, 
and we're just having a look at which trail we're going to go for. From the cabin, Kumkan is about 40 minutes drive away. That's it, well done. Good. <laughs> well done. Well done. Very impressed. This was Bryony's first ever trip to Kumkan and first ever real experience of proper Welsh red roots. I think she did pretty well. Good, well done. Nice and steady here. Well done. Very good. Very good control. Very nice. If mountains are still your interest, but biking isn't, then the Brecon Beacons are only 30 minutes away, and so is the highest peak in southern Wales. Right, where are we today then, Bryony? On a mountain. And do you know what it's called? Penny Fan. Penny Fan. And there in the distance is our little destination, just there. So, um, we've just come up this track from the car park, which is way down there, and uh, Brecon is over towards the eyebrows. That way, somewhere <laughs> over there, we'll probably see it when we get to the top. Okay, so we've come to the end of our stay here at the Roost. We'd like to thank our hosts, Chris and Kath. A massive thank you. For such an amazing stay, this yeah. place is awesome. Yeah, it is really, really is. We, it's exceeded our expectations by 10 million. It's, it's wonderful. The setting is fantastic. But everything um, that is included in the package is, is so well thought out. In this particular cabin that we're in at Arafossa, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, it's got a little kitchenette with everything you'll need. Um, an ensuite it's, bathroom. Yep, yeah, an ensuite bathroom, yeah, again with everything you'll need. Um, it's wonderfully heated. Even though we had a couple of nights of sort of minus temperatures, we weren't cold at all. We were absolutely toasty as so. If anything, we had to turn the radiator or the heater down. It was just a bit yeah. too much, wasn't it? So yeah, it, it's, it's fantastic. It really is. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. Make sure you comment down below and like and subscribe to this channel and the video. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'll put all the details um, of the place, the roost, uh, which is in Merthyr Tudfil, down Tidville. in the... Uh... Tudfil. Apologies for that. I'm not entirely sure whether we've got it correct anyway, but I'm on good in, uh, information from my very intelligent daughter here that <laughs> Merthyr... Tidfil. Tidfil is correct. Uh, please leave comments if I am incorrect. Oh, she is incorrect <laughs> as well. She sometimes is. <laughs> I'm going to leave all the information about the roost uh, here in Merthyr Tidfil down in the de description below and I'll put as much information in there as I possibly can for you. Um, as I say, our hosts are Kath and Chris, really, really accommodating couple, wonderful people. Uh, do get in touch with them, ask them any questions you need to ask. They're so very helpful. So uh, uh, I will see you next time on the next video. See you later. Stay safe and shred well. See ya. See ya.